meet you in the middle. Oh, okay. Sexy. <laughs> Nothing says love like a little morning pork. You remember Melissa? Of course he remembers me, Alan. He you flowered me, then dumped me. No offense, sweetheart, but your flower had been plucked and potted long before I met you. Honey, shouldn't we be getting ready for work? Yes, yes, let's do that. You want to shower together? Oh, great, great. Uh, let me just uh, start without you. There's a couple of things I'd like to pre-wash. Alan's birthday is next Saturday. Really? I don't think so. Get first. He's gonna be 40. Wow. That is so weird. My baby brother's gonna be 40. How old are you? 39. <laughs> That's what makes it so weird. Anyway, I think we should have a party for him. So, so it's just us, right? Of course it's just us. Who else would it be? Well, I don't know. My friends, family, close-up magician. I want to thank you all for coming to celebrate this wonderful occasion. I thought it was Alan's birthday. <laughs> and now it's time to say a few words about the guest of honor. Not only is he a terrific doctor and fantastic boss, <laughs> he is also good and kind and smart and funny and a really swell kisser. I can still hear you. Zippy! I gotta tell you, when you first moved in, I didn't really care for you. <laughs> you were a persnickety, self-righteous, smug son of a bitch. <laughs> and now, here we are, six years later. Thank you. Alan, darling, you were always the good son. Of course, your brother didn't set the bar very high. You people are horrible. No, honey, it's okay. It's no, okay. no, 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 it's not okay. You should be ashamed of yourselves. This is a warm and wonderful human being, and he deserves more, especially from his family. I don't even know why you guys showed up tonight. Well, I can't speak for anybody else, but I'm getting overtime. <laughs> Come on, Alan, we're leaving. Really? Before the cake? You don't need people who don't appreciate you. Uh, well, no, but I do kind of need Charlie's house. No, you don't. You'll come live with me and Mom. Who likes magic? <laughs> I shave for this? Mom made you some hot chocolate. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, and it's got those little marshmallows. I love those. Good. <laughs> I'm going to the market. What would you like for dinner? Oh, gosh, uh, I don't know. Uh, what do you want? I want to please you. Here you go, bright eyes. I made you some banana bread. Oh, uh, really? Mm -hmm. Banana bread? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Wow, it's still warm. <laughs> right out of the oven. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's, uh, that's very unusual. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm tasting bananas and, uh, what is that, nutmeg? Nope. <laughs> You know what? You might want to just start with half a piece. Letters I've written. Alan? <laughs> oh, hey, baby. Have you tried your mom's banana bread? <laughs> Heard him? Who's asking? <laughs> What's wrong? Too much celebrating last night. I didn't notice you drinking at Alan's party. No, afterward, with the magician at his place. You went back to his place? Well, technically his van. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.